artists. Today you'll be working with contrasting colors. Go ahead and write your name at the top. And then you're ready to get to work. So the best contrasting colors are colors that are across from each other on the color wheel. So let's start with yellow and purple. I'm going to start painting. Wipe, wipe my brush. Yellow first. And again, just like before, it's not a huge deal if you get out of the lines. Don't worry too much about that. Rinse off your brush. Wipe off the extra water. Get some purple. You don't have to mix the purple this time. You can use the purple from your watercolors. Look at that magnificent contrast. All right, I need to wash off my brush. Next up, orange is across from blue. So I'm gonna do orange. And my blue. And the last contrasting color pair on the color wheel would be red and green. So red across from green, start with red in the middle. Now I'm going down to the next section that says least contrast. So the least contrast will be colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. So for instance, purple and blue next to each other does not make a strong contrast. So that's what I want to put for my first least contrast square. And another example would be like yellow and orange. And you can use the same color again. Maybe you want to do like blue and green. That's fine. But for this one, we'll do yellow. Don't put too much water in your watercolors. Otherwise, it dilutes the paint. Dilutes means it, means it gets a lot of water in it. So it will make the color less bright and brilliant. So make sure you're wiping off your brush after you rinse it in your water cup. Please don't tap it because then the little water droplets go everywhere and they get on your neighbor's paper. So just dip, dip, wipe, wipe. And the last section is for your favorite combinations. So those are all up to you. Have fun.